And that's our job is to spark somebody else watching us. We, we might not be the ones, but let's not be selfish. And because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should change it. I don't Old italicize. We welcome in Jackson State cornerback Dijon Ward to Total Access. Thank you so much for joining us, Dijon. Nah, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Great to have you. And I love your story because you were actually the top junior college prospects. You had offers uh, from 35 programs, including a few that we may have heard before, Alabama, Tennessee, <laughs> Georgia, Florida, Oklahoma, but you chose the Jackson State. I would imagine yes, having a Hall of Famer as a coach was one of the draws, but why really was the main reason why you went to Jackson State? Um, when Coach Prime first got the job there at Jackson State, I loved everything that he want, that he stood for, and I loved his vision. I wanted to be a part of a big change. And I also wanted to show the youth that you can make it from HBCU. See, and that's the huge thing, right? Because you are the prime example. You represent the talent that can be found in HBCUs. What does it feel like now that HBCUs are finally getting more national and mainstream attention as they should? I mean, it's a great feeling because, you know, that was that, that was once where the big star was at before um, how fast took over. Everybody shined a light on HBCUs. And this is a great feeling to bring that light back. I love that. Um, and the talent speaks for itself. Right. But um, yes, there's so many there's so many little nuggets about you that we found out, including that nugget is one of your nicknames. How did you get that nickname? <laughs> All right, so I used to be a smaller guy. I went to Suleiman High School located in Suleiman, Maryland. And as a freshman, I was trying to earn a spot on the team. So first I first started playing special teams. So I was a punt returner. And I went against the first punt team. I scored my very first touchdown. I had like a little hot top feed with a blonde <laughs> patch right here. So after I scored, my coach, he asked me what my name was. And the first thing that went through my mind was first impression, best impression, give my contact. So I ripped off my helmet. I told him my name was Dejon Warren. He laughed. He said, I'm going to call you Nugget. And it stuck since then. <laughs> That's it. It's still Literally. a great impre first impression and still has carried on for you to this day. So at this point, yes, we are three weeks away from the draft. What has the process been like for you and what are you doing to get ready now to take this huge step into the pros? All right. So this has been the longest process of my old football career. But my agent, Jasmine Warren, he, he's done a great job in preparing me for this moment. Um, we've been training pretty well. He helped me pick on some weight. And as you can see, I can move with it. So that just be the main thing. Also, just continue being a student of the game and learning everything I can and soaking up all the information I can as well. Get the sense that you're definitely the, the type of player who, kind of a ball hawk, give me the, the, the tough one-on-one, -on -one. give it to me, coach, put it on my shoulders, just from watching the film oh, that yeah. we have on you here. Um, speaking of the draft, though, what are your plans? Who's going to be surrounding you when you have the biggest moment of your football career thus far? Just my family and those who guided me through the process. Mm -hmm. And like you said, being a lockdown corner, my head coach is Coach Prime. So mm -hmm. he's a lockdown. Of course, he gave me all the tools that he has, so I can be a lockdown myself. All right, so here we go. The floor is yours. What is a team getting in Dijon Warren? You're getting a lockdown corner, someone that's very physical, someone that loves contact, someone that's going to put their hand on receivers that can run with them as well. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a glove, man. I'm going to stick to you <laughs> like glue. <laughs> Period. And of All course, right. I'm, here, I'm here very aggressive, man. I'm very aggressive, and I take pride in hitting. So you gonna get you gonna get you gonna get everything in one place. Someone that loves football, someone that's fast, someone that's very physical, and someone that's gonna bring it every down. Whether you're looking to show up your linebacking core, with Swag you as a player of the year, like Ari Miller, destroying the inside, or looking to get the outside rush, like former defensive player of the year. Isaiah Lamb. Maybe looking to get your blocking shirt up. Like Mark Evans the second. Houston, aka UAPB. Maybe you want somebody with a pedigree. Pedigree taught by a living legend. Like Mr. Buddy Pugh. You need a receiver built from the ground up like Shaq Davis in South Carolina State. This has always been the class set up. It's been the class that's been scheduled to be the first light. Last year we did great. People like Jacoby Durant, people like Marcus Houston. Marquise Bell should have been there. Sorry, James Houston, my bad. Marquise Bell should have been there. But 
Joshua Williams, you know, the thing is, this class was always supposed to be that class. Two years under under the quote unquote spotlight. Two years under the limelight. Hey, Coach Prime said it. If you're gonna bring the light, it's what y'all do with it, right? This year, you look at people like Isaiah Land. Look at Nugget. Look at the players coming out this year. Have a chance to not only get drafted, but have an option and a chance to actually get more HBCU players drafted than the FCS. I think that's the first goal. Out produce the FCS. Once that goal is achieved, then you'll start seeing the dominance on the football field that we all we all want to get back to. We know the coaches there. When you start producing and putting players in the NFL the way HBCUs were up until the late 90s, at that clip, that's why I'm doing that. The playing field is level. We start going up there and beating group of five, power five schools. This draft sets that up. We're all rooting for everybody to get drafted. We're rooting for kids to get on teams, XFL, USFL, hell, Japan League, European League. For these kids to get jobs. Because that, my friend, will bring the light that was missing. This class is just the first of many. It's Cole Simmons. I'm out. <laughs>